All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. We're out here in Costa Mesa, California. I hope I pronounced that properly. We're about to go. Oh, there's some sirens. What's going on? There's a big fire engine. <laughs> look, look at the fire engines here. We're about to hit Nice Guys. There's a 100% vegan burger shop here. Restaurant, sorry. We're gonna go eat and then we're gonna hit a couple thrift stores and then check out Newport Beach. So hopefully this video is fun and entertaining because we're in America. And this, <laughs> this is America. <laughs> but yeah, about to eat real quick. I'm out here with Karina. Say hello. Hi. We're gonna get Gonna get some feed. Gonna get some feeds to eat. If you're ever in Costa Mesa and you're a vegan, even if you're not a vegan, this is a spot to check out. Nice guys. <laughs> Pulling up to Savers right now, guys. Hopefully, there's some stuff in there. Some good stuff to cop. Yay. There it is. Thrift Superstore. Look, I think we ate over the last we time. We did. We need, we need XL, extra large, extra grande. Let's see, let's see. What have we got here today? An OG, a day to remember t-shirt here. <laughs> remember that band? Really? Yeah. yeah. Is that $3.50 for a blank Gildan t-shirt? So if you are on the hunt for some cheap blanks at the thrift, you can print you can print whatever you want on the front if you're trying to do some DIY branding. A lot of cheap blanks. Like you were saying, you could buy a cheap blank and then print on it. Yeah. Arkansas. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. Are the Arkansas... What uh, is that? Maybe Mogs? like a school or something. Like a... On one that says Memphis. <laughs> 2XL. That's too big, huh? Yes. We do want to find like a nice some short sleeve button ups. Yeah, that would be cool. And in the That's right place. Yeah. Just came up on this OG super radical thrasher rip. It's uh I think it's four bucks. It's three dollars. It's a double XL, I might cop it, I don't know. Is super radical is still cool. What do you guys think? Found a couple of button up shirts. This one's an extra large. That's cool, I like that yeah. one. It might be too big, but it might be alright. And I found this polo one. 11 bucks Cute. so if i don't like it i can depop it or something and look at this oh cool super, remember super radical yeah yeah it's i have the jacket bucks. that you won me oh really yeah <laughs> it's so cute i found a few things i want to go look at the pants like the, see if there's dickies okay i hope so just came up on some khaki dickies i think they're like factory seconds or something because they've got a stamp on them it says a regular um, yeah, $3.50, 6 $5.50, sorry, it's not bad, I might cop them. They have the cargo pockets on the sides, could be a good, could be a good fit, I don't know. Come up on another pair of Dickies, they're the 874 Flex, the brown ones, $7.50. I'm going to try these on as well. Not sure if this is vintage or not, but I found this like OG Bruins CCM hockey jersey, it has my name on the back here. Too bad it's it's too small. This thing's tiny. It'd still be sick though because it has my name on the back. We are in the shoe department. We're gonna see if we can come up on any uh, any skate shoes or Converse or Vans. Let's check it out. Didn't really come up on anything, but there's some cool old man loafer slipper things. I don't know what you call these. Proper Jim Greco stees. Like it looks like Jim Greco would like skate a pair of these. I have a lot of stuff I want to try on. I found a couple of pairs of Dickies. We won't be able to try on anything. You can't? No. Oh, maybe I'll just have to cop them and hope for the best. <laughs> Where did you find a cowboy hat? No, sorry. I'm just thinking. Because of COVID, we can't try anything on in Sabres, so we've got to wait till we get home. So it's a bit of a gamble here today, guys. Just got done in Sabres, guys. Ended up putting back the khaki pair of Dickies because Karina thought they were way too big to fit my little body. So. I only copped one set of dickies. I copped a few t-shirts though. There was a vintage film camera I wanted to get but I don't think it worked because we watched a little video on how to like see if they work and I don't think it was working so I would have got it as a decoration if it was like 10 bucks but it was $18. Trying to head out to Newport Beach right now to hopefully catch the rest of this sunset here 
show you guys how beautiful it is out here and then we'll probably head home after that so we can have a look at our thrift haul thrifting with Sean Enox and Karina in Southern California <laughs> Australian style hey. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see but check out the moon the moon has come out early here in Southern California look at it insane how wide are their freeways here check it out they say no M5 into Sydney we've got one two three four five six seven lanes here guys seven lanes got here a bit late guys sun has set but it's still really pretty out you can check it out look at these houses here it's crazy yeah Oh, look at that tree down there. No, that was Venice. Look at that tree. So Australia's all the way over there. <laughs> On the other side of this water. <laughs> <laughs> Out here, Newport Beach. It's good. Life is good. Look at these houses, guys. Imagine if you had like an Airbnb on the coast here. You get all your mates together, stay for the weekend, and that's the view you have here. That'd be wild. We were going to head to Laguna Beach today, but we ended up heading up. Is this Orange County? Yeah. Uh, yeah. To uh, Newport Beach. So beach, beach, same, same. We started the day pretty late today. I keep forgetting when I come up here at the end of the year, it's winter up here, so the days are shorter. So I'm used to the sun going down at like 8 p.m. in Australia. But out here, because it's um, winter, the sun goes down around 4.30 p.m. Oh, there we go. You guys can see. Gonna head home now because I've got to do some editing and then show you guys all the thrift finds that we found today. Woo! I'm that excited because there's no thrifting like this in Australia. Like honestly, you'd be lucky to find like a uh, you know a polo button up in Australia at a thrift. So we're gonna drive no. back. The thrift stores over here suck. Yeah, they suck. Green has <laughs> been out thrifting in Australia and it's slim pickings. You know, so yeah. Alright, what did we cop? What did we cop? Copped all this stuff here. Um, I copped today a double XL super radical t shirt. Not in bad condition. Usually, when you find black t shirts that are second hand, they're all faded and nasty around the neckline, but this one isn't too bad. If it doesn't fit me, um, might give it to young Jamie. I don't know. What else did I get today? I got this cool blue um, polo Ralph Lauren button up. It's a size medium, but um, yeah, it fits me okay. Just got to iron it out. It's got a pink logo. I don't know why. I haven't seen many with pink logos, but it's still cool. What else did I get? And then I got this Eddie Bauer short sleeve button up shirt. It's like a khaki color. Look good with some like darker color dickies. I tried on these dickies just now. They're a size 32. And unfortunately they don't fit me. My hips are too wide to fit into these 32 inch 874 dickies. Which sucks because this is the style of dickies that I like the most. So I'm going to have to bring them back. But they're only $7.50 so you know. Maybe I can find another pair that'll fit. And then I just copped this blank. Gildan, um, I think it's a navy blue t-shirt also. Check it out. I like blank shirts. I've been on a big blank shirt wave lately. You probably would have noticed if you guys have been keeping up with my videos. I wear a lot of blank shirts. Um, I don't know why. It's just simple. I don't have to think too much. I can just chuck it on and then go skate. And as long as the color coordinates with what I'm wearing, like my pants and shoes, then I'm sweet. If you guys have made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. This is probably my rawest vlog yet. Like there was no skating, no music, no anything. Hopefully you guys watched it up until this point. But yeah, still finding my creative flow over here. It's a bit different being in a different place, different country, different side of the world. So hopefully soon enough, I'll get my creative flow back and I'll have these videos hot and ready for you guys. But yeah, thank you so much for 18K subs. It means the world to me road to 20k thank you for watching the video and i'll catch all of you guys in the next one